Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pua, the chemistry guru. Now last week I had a student who asked me this question. She said, Jia, how do I know whether a group which is attached to a functional group, how do I know whether this group it is an electron donating group or an electron withdrawing group? Now that's a very good question because if I don't know whether a group is donating or withdrawing, then how does it affect the reactivity of the functional group? We will have difficulty in terms of determining. So when do we learn this idea to determine whether a group is donating or withdrawing? We actually learn this under the topic of benzene. When we consider the position of substitution, that means whether a group is 2,4 directing or 3 directing and determining whether this group is activating or deactivating. So in this video, we will spend some time to try to determine the position of substitution as well as whether a group is electron donating or withdrawing for benzene substituents. Now before we jump in to determine which groups are donating and withdrawing, we want to run through the idea involving position of substitution involving benzene as well as how electron donating groups and withdrawing groups would affect the reactivity of benzene. Now these two ideas, they are actually related to each other. So most of the time we will learn them concurrently. So let's run through these ideas part by part. The first thing is involving the position of substitution. Now if I have a group that is already attached to benzene, now this group actually has an influence on the position of the next substitution. It is just like a round table. And if you are seated down at this round table, then you can decide where the next person would come in. So that's the idea of position of substitution. In general, there are only two effects, either 2,4 directing or 3 directing. So I have this example here involving a group that is 2,4 directing. Now 2,4 directing just basically means that this group G will direct the incoming group to position 2 with respect to itself to position 4 with respect to itself. So with respect to itself, this carbon will be position 1. Then neighboring or the seat next to it, it will be position 2. The seat that is directly opposite it will be position 4. So basically, if I'm a group that is 2,4 directing, you will ask the incoming group or the next group to sit either beside itself or to sit directly opposite itself. So this idea is called 2 or 4 directing effect. So if I have an electrophilic substitution reaction, whether it is a chlorination, bromination, nitration, it doesn't matter. As long as it is an electrophilic substitution reaction, then the product will either be attached to position 2 with respect to the original group or position 4 with respect to the original group. Now remember position of substitution, it is the group that is already attached to benzene that will decide where the next group will go to. So 2,4 directing or 3 directing is with respect to the group that is already seated or attached to benzene, not based on the incoming group. So 2,4 directing, pretty straightforward. Now 3 directing will just be directing the incoming group to position 3. So skip one seat, the 3 directing group will direct the next group to sit one seat away at position 3 with respect to itself. So on electrophilic substitution, the incoming group will be attached to position 3. So we only have these two different directing effects, either 2,4 directing or 3 directing. Now the next effect that a group has when it is attached to benzene is it will either be electron donating or electron withdrawing. So what we want to do is we want to determine if it is electron donating, then how does it affect the reactivity of benzene? If it is electron withdrawing, then how does it affect the reactivity of benzene? Now actually, we need to have this idea that benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction. So therefore, since benzene reacts with something that is electron poor, that means E+, plus, benzene must be electron rich. So benzene is electron rich, it reacts with an electrophile, which is electron poor. Then the next thing is how reactive benzene is will be directly related to how electron rich benzene is. The more electron rich benzene is, the more reactive it would be because it can attract the E plus or the electrophile better. So if I have a donating group that is attached to benzene, what will the donating group do? The donating group will push electron to benzene, right? So if it pushes electron or donates electron to benzene, you make benzene more electron rich, then it will become more attractive to the electrophile, which is positively charged, 
That means if it is more negative, it will attract something that is more positive. Then we would expect benzene to be more reactive. That is why we say that electron donating group, it is an activating group to benzene. Now on the other hand, if I have an electron withdrawing group, now electron withdrawing group, what it does is it pulls electrons away from any group that it is attached to. In this case, it is pulling electrons away from benzene. So now benzene has less electrons, right? So benzene will be less electron rich, less attractive to the electrophile. If it is less negatively charged or if it is less electron rich, it is harder to attract the electrophile. So it becomes less reactive. So therefore, electron withdrawing group, it is deactivating to benzene. So now you notice when a group is already attached to benzene, what it can do to benzene are two things. The first thing is the position of substitution. It can either be 2,4 directing or 3 directing. The second thing is it actually affects the reactivity of benzene. It will either activate benzene or deactivate benzene. Of course, now that we have this fancy concept, the next thing is if you give me this group that is attached to benzene, how do I know whether this group is a donating group or withdrawing group, whether it is 2,4 directing or 3 directing? Actually, these two ideas, they are related to each other. So let us run through how to determine this. Now we can actually summarize both of these ideas in this table here. If I want to determine which groups are 2,4 directing, 3 directing, which groups are donating, withdrawing. Actually, they are related to each other. In general, all electron donating groups are 2,4 directing and all electron withdrawing groups are 3 directing. So there's an underlying basis behind this. But the explanation actually, it is not really in syllabus. So most of us, we don't need to go through that. So what we can do is we focus on an atom that is directly bonded to benzene. If the atom that is directly attached to benzene, it has a lone pair, then it would be 2,4 directing and electron donating. We have some examples here. We don't need to have a whole list of everything to tell you which groups are 2,4 directing and electron donating because it has a lone pair. Because what we want is the rule. And if you give me any functional group or any group attached to benzene, then based on these guidelines, we can determine whether it is 2,4 directing donating or 3 directing withdrawing. So the number of examples that we are giving here is just for a sample or just for illustration purposes. So if I look at an OH group and an amine group, an NH2 group, so the oxygen that is directly attached to benzene, it has a lone pair. Nitrogen directly attached to benzene, it also has a lone pair. So we know that these two groups are 2,4 directing and electron donating. Now halogen, that means things like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, aldine, they actually have a lone pair. So based on this guideline, it should be a 2,4 directing and donating group, but halogen is a little bit different. Halogen, it is still 2,4 directing, but it is an electron withdrawing group. So this one is like an exception. In general, if it has a lone pair, then it will be 2,4 directing and electron donating. With the exception of halogen, halogen, it has a lone pair, so it is 2,4 directing, but it is an electron withdrawing group. Now, the other group that is 2,4 directing and donating will be any hydrocarbon. Any combination of CXHY will be 2,4 directing and electron donating. So this will include all alkyl groups or all alkanes. That means my methyl group, ethyl group, all alkyl groups would be 2,4 directing and electron donating. All alkenes as well as all benzenes or all arenes. All these hydrocarbons would be 2,4 directing and electron donating. Now for 3 directing and withdrawing groups, again we focus on the atom that is directly attached to benzene. If it has a positive charge or a partial positive charge, then it would be 3 directing and electron withdrawing. So things like nitro group and O2 group. Because nitrogen is attached to oxygen, oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, so oxygen is a minus charge. Nitrogen is a partial positive charge. Then acid carbon, because carbon is attached to more electronegative oxygen, oxygen it is a minus charge, carbon it is a partial positive charge. Again, this is just an illustration because we have a lot more three directing and withdrawing groups, but we are not interested in listing them down. We want to focus on the rule or the guideline to determine whether the group that is attached to benzene, 
it is two for directing and donating or three directing and withdrawing so based on this actually it is pretty simple what we do is we focus on the atom directly attached to benzene if it has a lone pair then it will be two for directing and electron donating with the exception of halogen remember halogen it is two for directing but electron withdrawing if it is a hydrocarbon any combination of CXHY, it would be 2 for directing and electron donating. And if the atom directly attached to benzene, it has a positive charge or a partial positive charge, then it would be 3 directing and electron withdrawing. Alright, so that was the discussion involving determining the position of substitution and electron donating or withdrawing groups for benzene substituents. If you have learned something useful from this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.